it's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It meant it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I I looked at, at that analysis that CI did, CSI did of my lawsuit. And, and here's the thing. While I encourage everyone to do their own DD and come to their own conclusions, and I know that we can all look at data and come to two totally different conclusions. And I respect CSI's energy, okay? CSI asked me for a copy of the motion. He told me he wanted to read it. He did not tell me that he was going to decipher it using his analytical skills, I guess. Here's the thing. CSI did not go to law school. CSI is entitled to use chat GPT to decipher my lawsuit, but CSI does not know my trial strategy. CSI does not know my legal strategy. And if he thinks he has a better way of doing the lawsuit, then Maybe he should sue on his behalf because I am sure CSI has lost money because of these bad actors. I went to law school. I have looked at this play over the last three years. I have been engaged in this legal maneuver with these defendants for the last two and a half years. OK, I decide who my defendants are. I decide how I move forward with the lawsuit. I decide my legal strategy. You can't take a motion that, that Citadel files and then decipher it and try to, to, to analyze what I've been thinking over the last two and a half, in last two and a half years over some chat GPT interpretation or, or, or some analysis based on your own personal feelings. And while you are very much in the right to decipher things and analyze things and come to your own conclusions, let's agree to disagree. I will continue with my legal strategy. I will continue fighting the fight to ensure that there's a fair and free and transparent market for all investors, not just retail investors, okay? Because what some people don't realize is retail investors aren't the only ones being robbed. There are institutions that are being robbed because everybody don't break the law. Everybody don't violate the law to make money. There are institutions, there are hedge funds that follow the law, that don't have fines, that, that don't pay billions of dollars in fines to the SEC and FINRA and the DOJ. So this lawsuit benefits them also. So CSI, if you feel you have a better legal strategy, then you should... File your summons and complaint and put together your lawsuit and go after them. I mean, I encourage people, if you feel that you have been wronged, then you should look for justice in a court of law. I felt that Robin Hood, Citadel, Ken Griffin, DTCC, FINRA, I believe they wronged us. I believe they wronged me. And that's why I took them to court. Now, two and a half years later, you want to Monday, Mon Monday morning quarterback my legal decisions when you have 
no real legal experience whatsoever. Listen, listen. We are all in this together. We all want a fair and transparent market. And we're gonna we're gonna go about it different ways. I mean we're gonna go about it different ways. Hopefully, in the end, the rules will be changed. Retail investors and the uh, institutions that don't break the law will see the market change for the better. Hopefully, these lawsuits, hopefully other people will file lawsuits also. Hopefully, these lawsuits will force the DOJ, the SEC, FINRA, DTCC to start enforcing the rules of the market and stop conspiring with these bad actors to rob retail investors, pension funds, and institutions who don't break the law. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.